This was a good week to be in the gym. You know, we didn't have a match uh, yesterday, so we had a full week to train and came in with a really nice list of things we wanted to get accomplished. I think we got them all checked off and teams looking better as we go through the week. So, yeah, Saturday helped for sure. Keep our energy high and, and keep that um, those big goals that we've got on our on our list and that everything's still in place. So uh, it was good to see us follow up with a good week in the gym. She, she had mentioned the uh, lineup changes. I mean, what was the thought process there? And, and did, I, you, did that happen against TCU, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we, we'd started this, um, this lineup we ran against TCU. We started it in the Texas match. Mm -hmm. And it, it just seemed to make the most sense. And uh, against TCU, it was, it was the same thing. You know, Andrea, I give her a ton of credit. She, she played a lot in the preseason. Uh, she was a starter opening weekend. She was on the all-tournament team. And then Brooke kind of just rose up and, and claimed a spot, and, and it um, and it squeezed Andrea's playing time. And so, you know, it was great to see how she's handled this, her attitude, and, and what kind of teammate she's been. And she hasn't stopped training, and, and then she gets her chance against TCU, and she's good to go. So uh, I, I give her a lot of credit. It's a, it's a hard position to be in, and, and she's handled it as well as you could ask. And uh, so I, I think we're all really happy to see her get a second chance and, and really do some good things. How did that spark the team against TCU and maybe going forward against Kansas? Yeah, well, you know, she's got a great block. She she covers a lot of space, uh, and she's got a big arm. And so, you know, the, the matchup was there for her to score some points. And, and it was great more than anything to see Missy really trust her, especially in that second set when everybody was keyed on Brooke. And, and that was the way we, we took some pressure off of her was to get Andrea more involved. And, and Missy was really comfortable running the offense through her. So uh, I think moving forward, it's just going to be more the same. You know, we like the way that she's playing. We like Brooke on the outside. And and um, for the time being, this is the way we're going to go. What can you uh, take from the previous matchup against Kansas and what you guys need to do differently? Yeah, I think Kansas was, uh, you know, it was exactly what we had been dealing with with the other losses. We'd get right there and we weren't finishing. We were playing well enough to win, but just we were doing things on our end to let ourselves down. And our serve was not good, and we were just high air at the wrong times and, and just not playing those big moments the way we're supposed to. And it, it was just a matter of us, you know, handling it better. You know, we, we knew what we wanted to do, and we just weren't quite able to get it done. So there was a lot of frustration on our side and, and just walking off the court feeling like we let things slip away. And so, you know, we train these situations all the time. We, we talk about these things. The players know what, what they've got to do better. And then uh, you saw it against TC, the first and the third set. We were down pretty significantly and made big runs to pull it out. And you could just see that that poise and that composure come back and that, that ability to, to kind of handle the moment a lot better. And everybody just rose up and did their job. So that's what we were used to seeing in the beginning of conference play. And, and so we're really optimistic that this is what we'll see moving forward. I know it was a rough stretch there, but you kind of mentioned it. There were points in different sets where you guys could have easily yeah. taken. I mean, is, is it something like what happened against TCU that might, you know, I guess motivate or turn the tide, so yeah, to speak? Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because we had done the same thing uh, when we won it against Iowa State, when we had won against K-State. You know, we were used to doing this, and then it seemed like we just forgot how to win all of a sudden. And, and so um, – you know, it was kind of a surprise to all of us that all of a sudden it, it just went away. And and so, you know, I think, again, though, we were just kind of fighting ourselves. And and then uh, so to see us kind of clear our heads and, and get back to it against TCU reminded us all that, okay, this is what we were doing, and this isn't anything we can't handle, so we'll just keep doing it. I know all six matches are important, but, I mean, to go to be able to go on the road and potentially get a win against Kansas and kind of, yeah. I guess, kind of make up some ground on those three teams in front of you. How huge right. would this be? Well, you know, we're trying, everybody's trying to separate right now and, and make their case for postseason. But, you know, when we look at teams individually, you know, K-State, we, we, we really want to get a season split with them. And, and so we dropped that first match, and, and now we've got to go on the road to find a way to, to do that. And so these are the things that, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing is at the very least, we want to split with everybody that we can and, and just um, keep ourselves right there in the mix. And, and this is how we got to do it. We're going to have to win some road matches, no question. And, and so we got six left and it doesn't matter which ones we get. We just got to get some and it doesn't matter where or who, who we beat. How, how are you feeling postseason wise? I mean, what, what do you think you need to do or have you done 
what yeah, you need well, to do. we're not there. That's for sure. You know, we we were in a good place a few weeks ago, and and now we're not. You know, I think we're on the outside looking in right now. We've we've got to get more wins. It's simple as that. But I think everybody in the Big Twelve feels the same way. Nobody's comfortable right now, except for Texas. And so, you know, we're all we're all trying to do the same thing. And I think that's going to make it fun down the stretch. Is every match is going to be really significant for a lot of people, even if you're not the ones playing. And everybody's scoreboard watching and and checking out how they're doing and seeing who's playing well and, and um, where they can you know, try to steal a win. So uh, it's a really cool place for our program to be, for sure. And, uh, and it, it's going to be something that keeps our energy and our players really fired up to, to finish it out. How does the message this year compare to the end of the stretch last year? And, and what you're communicating to the girls? Yeah, I think last year it was more uh, we wanted a winning record. We wanted to get as many conference wins as we could. But there were um, – we talked in the beginning of the season about postseason, but it wasn't anything like it is now. And it's not like we talk about this every single day, but we know what, we're, what our goals are now. And they're just a lot different. They're just um, – they're another step forward for us. And so I think as a program, we, we feel good. We've got 16 wins. We know we've got another winning season, regardless of what happens the rest of this year. So that's checked off our box. And now we can look at the Big 12 standings and say, OK, we're 5-5. Five and five. We're in the top half of the conference. And we know that uh, when you do that at this level, that, that puts you in line with being on the bubble for, for postseason. So that's that's what we want. So we just got to keep going. And you know the players are really, like I said, this is what they came here for. And, um, and they've seen their, their own success. They know what they're capable of. And we just got to get that uh, last surge and get over the top. What's maybe the biggest key for this team, whether it's something mental or physical, um, as far as kind of navigating through a road match? You know, we, um, we've got to stay close in the beginning. I think that's important for us. Um, you know, we've got to get through the first five or six rotations, those first rounds of matchups where we really see who we're up against and how everything looks. And, and we've got to stay close. And, you know, we've been good about handling crowds and being in other people's gym. That's not a problem for us. I think it's just more of when we really get into it, we put our game plan in place. We know what we want to do. And in the very beginning, we've got to, we've got to start applying it and, and get it going right away and not feel like we're instantly behind and, and playing uphill the rest of the way. So if we can do that, we can relax a little bit. Our server can, can relax, and we can really go after it and be aggressive and, and then find that offensive balance that we're looking for. It's definitely a little bit of weight has been lifted off of our shoulders because we really needed that win. But now it's just kind of like we feel like we want to get an, another winning streak again and just push forward. So. What can you learn from that first meeting against Kansas here? Well, we, like Tony had said, we didn't play bad because, I mean, we just need to work on a couple things. And we have been working on them in practice and a couple new things and changing the lineup a little bit. So we're just looking to change up a couple things. I mean, I know that all of them are important, but given the fact that you guys are in a, a three-way tie for fourth, how, how huge would this be to make up some ground on Kansas and those teams in front of you and maybe distance yourself from those other teams that you're currently tied? Well, with? yeah, it would be great for our program because, I mean, that's exactly our goal this year is just to be as best as we can be and improve our record. So. Um, I guess, what do you guys think that you did differently? What do you guys think that you did differently um, in the last match versus like all the other ones that you guys lost? We just knew once we stepped on the court that we were going to win. We had a lot of great energy, and it just felt great. And every point that we were getting, just the team got more energized, and it was it was a great game. <laughs>